Since its launch on September 5, 1977, Voyager 1 has contributed to our understanding of the outer solar system and interstellar space, a region of space that is billions of light years distant from our tiny planet. Incredible as it may seem, it appears that Voyager 1 is returning home. How is this feasible, and what are the implications for the future of space exploration of its return? To comprehend the magnitude of this event, it is necessary to comprehend how revolutionary Voyager 1's findings were. Hello everyone, welcome back to Z. Subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to receive our daily videos. It exceeded expectations by becoming the first object created by humans to depart our solar system and enter interstellar space. This also makes it the only human-made object to have ever traveled this far. This probe's brilliance continued as it propelled itself through space so quickly that it beat its companion, Voyager 2, to Jupiter, despite being launched two weeks after Voyager 2. As swift as it was, it was also comprehensive in its coverage of the solar system because it transmitted to Earth images that were so astounding that they are still used by schools and media entities worldwide. Within these detailed images, Voyager 1 stunned everyone by revealing a thin rim surrounding the planet as well as two moons, Thebes and Métis. It also disclosed that Jupiter's moons were, if you can believe it, active worlds, with moons such as Europa believed to contain subsurface oceans of water. This incredible voyage was made possible by a fortunate alignment of the outer planets that occurs only once every 176 years. Voyager 1 and 2 were able to maximize the power generated by their three radioisotope thermoelectric generators as they hopped from planet to planet. NASA ensured that both probes were equipped with golden records after determining that they may be able to travel beyond our solar system. The Golden Chronicle served as a chronicle of everything that makes our planet so special, including whale calls, music, and greetings in approximately 52 languages. Even more importantly, the Golden Records also contain the location of our Sun, letting the galaxy know where we are. Voyager 1 was also equipped with 10 scientific instruments, including a two-camera imaging system, multiple spectrometers, a magnetometer, and detectors for low-energy charged particles and high-energy cosmic rays. Even its communication system has aided mission team members in learning more about planets and their moons, indicating that every aspect of this probe contributes to expanding our knowledge of space. Soon the spacecraft would transmit images of Jupiter and Saturn, concluding its mission. Voyager 1 proceeded past Pluto as it approached interstellar space after providing additional information about the enormous planet. Prior to this, however, on February 14, 1990, the probe captured one of the most iconic images ever when it photographed our residence. This was accomplished when the spacecraft was approximately 3.7 billion miles distant, which must have been a remarkable vantage point. In addition to Venus, Jupiter, Neptune, and the Sun, the spacecraft also captured numerous images of other celestial bodies in our solar system. As you examine these images and recognize the pale blue dot as our home, you realize how insignificant we are as we float along this minuscule pebble in the vast universe. In 2012, after taking these photographs, the probe successfully traversed the heliosphere, the immense layer of charged particles that the sun blows around itself. After the probe's plasma wave instrument recorded a violent solar eruption between April 9th and May 22nd, 2013, this was only discovered. After determining that the official date of Voyager 1's departure from the solar system was August 25, 2012, the same day that famed astronaut Neil Armstrong passed away, it was recorded that the spacecraft was officially 11.25 billion miles or 121 astronomical units away from the Sun, and as it entered the next phase of its journey, it took note of the marvels that lay beyond our solar system. The probe was able to provide us with detailed information about how charged particles from the Sun interact with particles emitted by other stars, among other astounding phenomena. In approximately 40,000 years, Voyager is expected to pass within 1.7 light-years of AC plus 79,388, a star located approximately 17.5 light-years from Earth. Given that the spacecraft is expected to be billions of miles away and will continue to travel for millennia, it is crucial that its Deep Space Network, DSN, continues to operate correctly. 
DSN is a collection of large radio antennas that are dispersed throughout the planet and is the only thing that allows us to communicate with the probe. Amazingly NASA can now transmit and receive signals to and from the probe within 20 hours of their emission. For the purpose of receiving these signals, the probe is equipped with 23 watt transmitters. These low-power transmitters are seven times more potent than the iPhone's transmitters. Using the DSN to transmit the secrets of the universe beyond our solar system has been a breeze, thanks to the gargantuan 3.7-meter antenna that is permanently attached to the probe. How is it possible for Voyager 1 to return to Earth if it is perpetually traveling away? Possibly because, for a few months each year, the distance between the Earth and the spacecraft increases. This is because the Earth's orbit advances closer to the spacecraft during these months before retreating. This is conceivable due to the fact that Earth's orbit around the Sun is faster than Voyager's. For those who are unaware, the pace of the Earth is 67,000 miles per hour. Voyager can travel at velocities of 38,210 miles per hour, making it faster than Voyager 2, which can travel at speeds of approximately 35,000 miles per hour. Consequently, during those months when the Earth appears closer to the probe than ever before, it is because the Earth is approaching the spacecraft at a rate at which it cannot escape. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2, which also experience this annual loop closer to Earth, will eventually leave the solar system when they pass through the old cloud, a shell of comets and debris that orbits the Sun at a distance of 100,000 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. At that time, the probe will be attracted to stars beyond our solar system, and the Sun will be too feeble to prevent it from approaching an alien star. Within 30,000 years, the first of these stars will be Ross 248, a red dwarf star. Given that the Voyager will spend eternity in the galaxies, and it is believed that it will still be around when our solar system has orbited our galaxy in the next 500 million years, we wonder if the golden records will be intact if and when other intelligent beings discover it. Well, if you can believe it, it is believed that the recordings were created to last for many years, possibly even a billion years. This is due to the comprehensive protection provided for the novel product. Just beneath the gold casing is a sheet of aluminum that shields the copper core. Nevertheless, it is still believed that harsh elements in the universe could potentially harm the records. Dust clouds and particles from the galaxy's uppermost planes, where the probe tends to loiter, have proven to be the most hazardous. Also, it is believed that the particles within these enormous clouds may have sufficient gravitational attraction to deviate the probe from its intended path. Since the engraved symbols are hidden away from the spacecraft's body, it is believed that there is a high probability that the golden record will remain intact and readable as it travels through the universe. If Voyager survives the collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies, it may be around for at least a portion of the next 5 billion years, based on the trajectory of the universe's future. If both Voyager 1 and Voyager survive this ordeal, they may be able to travel to uncharted regions and record and observe stars and planets that may not even exist today. Are you interested in learning more about our universe? Why not like and subscribe to obtain access to more content similar to this one? In conclusion, despite the possibility that Voyager 1 will never return home, we hope that it will help us learn even more about the universe than it already has. Perhaps one day it will also be able to educate another civilization out there. Perhaps one day they will return it home. That's all for this video. Feel free to explore our previous videos to get your mind blown. Thanks for watching and see you next time.